Coming up, we've got a chance to win $25,000 on Chargers vs. Raiders. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jason Mattis with Winning Bets. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. This episode is one of our free contests that we play, and it's on Thursday Night Football between the Chargers and Raiders. And over on the Fox Bet Super 6 app, they'll give away $25,000 if you can correctly answer six questions. If nobody can do that, they'll give a guaranteed $1,000 prize to the people that can get the most points. Last week, we got 9 of 14 points, so a little bit better than average. Not, you know, I think that was a 93rd percentile, so that's, that's pretty good right there. We got the total points right uh, last week. We got the team with the most yardage, and we got the amount right. And, of course, we got the winner right in that game, picking the Rams over the Patriots. We barely, barely missed out on what was going to be the first TD of the third quarter. We selected none. That one almost hit. The Rams kept going for it. They're on fourth down late in that third quarter to eventually get them some points. All they need to do is give up Sean McVay and go ahead and punt it like you like you should on fourth down. But that one was really close. Almost, almost got that. That one would have felt really, really good to get that one. But this weekend, it's the Chargers and the Raiders, the 4-9 and nine Chargers, up against the seven and six, uh, four four nine Chargers up against the seven and six Raiders, an absolute must win for the Raiders if they want to get in the playoffs. They pretty much got to run the table, and it'll start with the Chargers. But we'll see if they're able to do that. All right, let's see how we'll do these six questions. Question one is, what's going to be the total points scored in the first half? This one's a new question. We've never gotten this one before. Well, the Chargers are scoring twelve point seven points in the first half. The Raiders are scoring thirteen point two points. Chargers are allowing 13.2 points, and the Raiders are allowing 15.1 points. The Chargers' total is or average is 12.95. The Raiders' average is 14.15. That's a total of 27 points. So we'll go ahead and take 26-plus points will be scored in the first half. What's going to be the first TD of the third quarter? Well, the Raiders are allowing 3.6 points per third quarter. That's really remarkable. The Chargers are allowing 7.1 points in the third quarter. The Raiders have 24 passing touchdowns on the season and 15 rushing touchdowns. They have zero defensive touchdowns. Meanwhile, the Chargers have 25 passing touchdowns, eight rushing touchdowns, but they have two defensive touchdowns. I'm going to go ahead and give this one to the Raiders passing touchdowns. I like that the defense is only allowing 3.6 points where the Chargers are allowing a touchdown there in the third quarter. And then I like that you're getting the passing over the rushing because they lean more passing heavy. They get 1.6 passing touchdowns for every one rushing touchdowns. So that's why I slot in there on Raiders passing touchdown. Third, uh, third is, oh yeah, third, question three is who's going to score the most points? So if we look at these players and we look at points scored per game. Well, Mac, Michael Bag, Bagley has 5.8 points per game. Austin Eckler has 0.9 points per game. Daniel Carlson has 8.9 points per game. Josh Jacob has 5.2. Darren Waller has 3.2. And then you can take a tie. If we look at uh, these two kickers here, Carlson, he's missed one uh, extra attempt this season. Um, all but three games, he's had, in all but three games, he's had multiple field goal attempts. For Bagley there, he's, had, he's missed three point extra attempts, and in three games, he's had no field goals, and in three games, he only had one field goal. I'm going to go ahead here and give the edge to Daniel Carlson. I like his numbers there in terms of kicking multiple field goals in each game. And then to beat out one of these players, whether it's Jacobs, Waller, or uh, Eckler there, if one of those guys get a touchdown, obviously, hopefully we get one point for the extra point, and then hopefully we just need two field goals. If one of these guys get two touchdowns, it'll certainly be you know the winner to whoever can get two touchdowns. But even if they get one touchdown, we're not sunk. And I like that. The uh, that this guy here, Carlson, kicks multiple field goals in each game. And then also, if you look at the Chargers' defense, it's ranked ninth in the NFL, so I think they'll be good at maybe forcing field goals where the Raiders' defense is ranked 25th, so maybe they won't be giving up as much field goals having a, a weaker defense. So that's how I settled on Daniel Carlson there for the most points scored in the game. Question four is what's going to be the total points in the game? Currently, the over-under is at 54.5. Well, the Raiders are allowing 30.1 points per game, which is 30th in the NFL. Chargers are allowing a little bit better. They're at 27th in the NFL with 27.8 points per game. The Raiders, though, score more at 26.9 versus 22.8. I'm going to go ahead and lock in at 54 to 57 points because I've got this game at about 30 to 24, 30 to 26 is about how I see this game unfolding points-wise. Question five is, what's the team with the most receiving yards and what's going to be the amount? Again, we got this question right last week. Hopefully, we'll do it again. The Raiders allow 256. The Chargers are allowed 217. The Raiders throw for 256, and the Chargers throw for 270. 
I'm going to go ahead and say Chargers are going to be the team with the most passing yards in this game. And these windows are really tight. I'm going to say 261 to 270, but man, just really, really tight windows. Better pass defense, better passing offense as the Chargers. So that's how I settled on the Chargers. And question six we always know is what's the winner and what's the margin? The line currently right now is Raiders minus three and a half. I've already told you I think this game is 30 to 24, 30 to 26, somewhere in that game. I'm going to give it to the Raiders. It's an absolute bona fide, got to have it, must win. Not to say that they will. They're not like a significantly better team than the Chargers. The Chargers, though, have just just had a really bad season. We all know that the comebacks that they let teams do and just really melting late in games. Anthony Lynn there. Again, the first half against the Falcons, he just wasted a good opportunity to kick a field goal. He is really, really bad at absolutely clock management and game decisions. But uh, so, anyways, in that score, I'm going to lock on the Raiders' win margin at five to six. So that one's to be really a toss up. I'll probably lock in on my wife's entry with the Chargers winning that game. I, I just. I don't know. This is this 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 to me. I could I could kind of see it going either way. I don't think there's a huge advantage that the Raiders have, but I will give it to them in an absolute must-have home game Thursday night. Hopefully the boys will show up and they'll go ahead and get that win by five to six. And that's how I'm going to round out my chances to win twenty five thousand dollars on the Fox Bet Super Six app for Chargers and Raiders. Go ahead, get your picks in, like this video, and share it with your friends so we can all win that money. Otherwise, guys, I've already got the video up for the $50,000 Premier League contest. And then you guys know later on in the week, we'll have our normal $100,000 contest on the Fox Bet Super 6 app. We'll have the Sunday night challenge for $100,000 on the NBC Sports Predictor app. And I will see if we can't get those college games in for you whenever uh, Fox Bet makes them available. I'll go ahead and do the research on those as well. All right, guys, enjoy your day. And I'll see you guys on the next contest. I'm Jason Mattis. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we are celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.